Hey guys! Um, sorry that I have been MIA for a while. I have been um, in a car for 14 hours today and in the process of moving from New York to Minnesota the past week. So um, that's where I have been. I apologize. I'll have Wi-Fi tomorrow um, and I have a little bit now while I'm in the hotel. So I wanted to um, make a video really quick and give you guys some tips and pointers and talk about parties because um, I know a couple of you are <clears throat> about to be setting up your first parties and some of you might just need a refresher course um, on how to kind of do things. I'm not going to talk about how to set up a party. Um, most of you should know how to do that by now and if not then I will uh, post a link to, um, I think Micah has a video <clears throat> that I'll post a link to um, so you can learn how to do that. Um, okay so diving right in, um, parties can be done one of two ways on Facebook. Um, this is, we're just going to talk right now about Facebook. Um, you can do events or you can do groups. Um, if you do a group, uh, that automatically adds people um, and you need to get their permission to be added. So before your hostess goes and it adds all of her girlfriends, she needs to message them. I recommend messaging, having her message between 25 and 50 women saying, hey girl, um, I'm hosting this unique party. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Fiber Plus Mascara. Um, do you mind if I add you to the group? If they say no, don't add them. If they say yes, go ahead and add them, obviously. With an event, you don't need to ask for permission because they have the option to accept or decline that invitation. But I would still have her message um, everybody. I would have her invite between 25 and 50 women and then message all of them herself and explain what the invite is um, and make sure that they RSVP. Um, a lot of times event invites get lost in uh, the Facebook notifications and a lot of times they don't pop up ever again. So if you miss, if they don't see it once, it's a lost opportunity and they may never see it again unless she messages them. Um, so messaging in both situations is going to be very, very important. You want your hostess to be as involved as possible, um, which I will post another link about hostess coaching uh, along in the comments here. To Micah has a really good video for that that you can send her. So um, all of our parties are um, 10 days right now. We used to have the option to do 3, 5, or 10 days, and now it's just 10 days. But you can close the party at any time. Uh, make sure you're closing it and not canceling it. If you cancel it, they're not going to get the rewards. If you close it, they will. Um, so you can do uh, you can do any type. You can do it for as long. You can do it for the full 10 days. Or you can do it 5 days, 3 days, whatever you want to do. Um, I recommend just leaving it open for the full 10 days just because there are going to be those stragglers that um, don't get their orders in right away. A lot of people like to wait until the last minute. If you start your party like on a Wednesday, you'll cover two paydays. You'll cover two Fridays. So um, that's the way I like to do mine. I like to start them on Wednesdays and get two Fridays in there. Um, <clears throat> your um, It's always fun to kind of have a theme for your parties. So you can do... <clears throat> Um, you can do like lips and lashes, you can do like summertime where you just focus on like bronzer, anything kind of like that. Be creative, make it fun. Um, don't just make it, you know, mascara and then that's it. They have probably been invited to tons of other unique parties before, so make sure that yours stands out a little bit. Um, you can also do a mystery hostess party if you find that your sales are kind of lagging a little bit. Um, a really good way to get people involved is to do a mystery hostess party. And how that works is everyone will order from your link. You will set up a party in your name. Everyone who orders is entered to um, get the hostess rewards, the Y cash and the half offs. Um, you would just end up having to order for them, and then they could PayPal you the difference if they ordered more than what the Y cash is. Um, you can do a flash sale. Now a flash sale is really only going to work, I really only recommend doing it if you are yellow and above. Um, I did one that was wildly successful. I had about $800 in orders. Um, and how it worked is all of my products were discounted. Everything was 25% off. So I did not get any commission on that. Um, but my, it 
made my PRS insanely high last month. So what I did is I went through, there is an album um, that I will get added. Um, I'll probably have to do that tomorrow or Monday. I can get the flash sale album uploaded. Um, and then you just post things like every five minutes. And then you're like, oh, the mascara is usually 29 and now it's like 20, whatever, what is it, like 26 or 25 or something like that. The prices are listed on there. Um, so you're not going to get commission, but if you want your PRS to go up, if you're going for a promotion, that's a great way to do it. Um, like I said, I would not recommend doing that unless you're yellow and above just because you could do 20% off. Um, I would recommend doing at least 20% off. If you're doing a flash sale, you need to make sure that you are advertising that. Um, I started advertising mine a week in advance. I sent out all the invites a week before, and I was posting on my personal page every single day, two to three times a day, about that flash sale. I made sure that people knew about it and what it was and that things were going to be on sale and that things are going to be discounted. Don't do it the day before or the day of and expect people to RSVP because it's not going to happen. Um, um, okay, Fast and Furious. I like to do these for the people that are kind of hesitant about hosting and that you think may not be the best long-term hostess, that they may not do a good job of um, being consistent for the whole 10 days. So you can set it up like a, a three-day party. Um, I do mine like on Friday or Saturday night. Say, okay, we're going to get together Friday night on Facebook or Saturday night on Facebook. Set the event for that time. Let the people know that the link will be open for a couple days before and a couple days after the party. And then the night of the party, you play games. Um, I would recommend giving away a prize. Use your Y cash and your half offs to um, purchase like the set of four pigments or um, just even if you want to buy just one pigment at a time. Um, and then, you know, it ends up being like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Um, so you can play games, um, get those people interacting, and then um, hopefully they order at the end of the party. Um, so as far as how your party should go, um, I kind of try to follow a semi-strict guideline of how I run my parties just to make sure that I, it helps to keep me consistent and kind of hold me accountable for my postings. Um, one second. Okay, so not prepared. Um, <clears throat> So I, okay, so this is kind of what I do. This is like a, a your typical 10-day party. Um, day one, I just do an introduction. I post a, a photo collage of myself. You can also do a video, a video introduction. Um, talking a little bit about myself um, when I started Unique. And then I personalize it a little bit. I share some fun facts about me, some stuff about my family, nothing super personal, but just things that they kind of get to know me and I'm not just some random lady that I'm like, hey, buy my stuff. Um, the second post of that day, okay, going back a little bit, I recommend posting at least three times in your party, two to three times a day in your party, morning, afternoon, and night. Um, so the second post is going to be roll call and I do, I have a cute little graphic that's like, you know, where are you from? How do you know the hostess? Tell us one fun fact about yourself or what can, what makeup item can you not leave the house without, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then the third post is just kind of about uh, the party in general. So that's like our return policy, how much our shipping is. Um, I share the link. I tell people, you know, we're just getting started, but you can order at any time from the party if you don't have time to stick around. Um, and then I also, okay, and then day two, I give away a prize in all of my qualifying parties. So day two, I talk about how they can earn tickets for that grand prize. And um, that is by placing orders, by winning a game. Um, I always say, too, if you like my business page, I'll um, give you a ticket. And then I just make a tally next to people's names. And then I draw. I have my son draw a name out of the hat because it's fun. Um, then the second post is like just all about our mascara. So I give all the facts. Um, I'm going to have to change it now with the plus. 
Um, so, you know, just say things like it's naturally based, it contains uplift in the fibers, um, it's got a tapered wand, transplanting jaw, you can get those little hard to reach in, in your inner corners, etc. Um, and then the second post is my own mascara selfie. So I use my own face, my own eyes, um, and just say, hey, this is me. It's not some random person I don't know. It's not a model. It's not a presenter. It's me. These are my personal results because they're going to um, be more apt to buy from someone if it's someone that they know. And that is where the introduction and personalizing it. If your hostess has, uh, has the mascara already, she should definitely be posting a selfie around that same time as well. And then um, you can kind of do like a little random fun tip um, or you can play the, um, I just play like an like a easy game of like how many pigments are in my container. Um, so I'm going to post the rest of my schedule in a file. Um, it's just too much to go over right now. But just some tips. I usually stick to mascara, um, especially if this is like a, the first time that someone's hosting, people are going to go for the mascara. So um, stick with the mascara for the first like, I don't know, five or six days. I'd say like six days at least. Um, and because you don't want to be all over the place. You don't want to post about mascara and then foundation and the BB cream and then mascara again and then pigments. And it's like, go in order. So I do mascara, I do my mascara for like six days and then I do the skincare steps. So then I start with um, the cleanser and then I do the moisturizer and then I do uplift and then I do glorious and then I do the foundations and I go in order of how they would be applied. So there is some semblance of kind of like a system um, and it's easy for them to keep track of that. Um, so mascara is going to be the biggest seller and please remember to not post any photos of the old mascara, the old 3D Fiber Lash. We should only be posting photos of the, um, 3D Plus right now. Um, make sure that your photos are all up to date with the new packaging. Um, there are a lot floating around out there with the old, um, like glorious the Gloria should look like this now. It shouldn't be in the glass jar anymore. Um, make sure you're not using anything that, um, not divine. Um, the old moisturizer, I can't think of the name right now. I'm blanking. Um, make sure our moisturizer looks like this and it's not a little circular tub. Um, things like that. Just pay attention to detail and be aware of the kudos and things like that. Um, I really, really recommend watching the product training video that Whitney Husband did for all of us um, a couple months ago. I'm going to get a link up for that as well when I have the time. Um, okay, so this video is almost 15 minutes long. So I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, any questions, you can post below. Um, always make sure that you're posting the link in your parties every single time you make a post. Actually, I would do it like once a day. So like on a mascara selfie, then post the link there so they don't have to keep going back and looking for it. Because if they have to do that, they're probably not going to order. If the link's right there, then they're, they're going to be more apt to order. Um, I think that's kind of it for now. Like I said, any questions, feel free to shoot me a message or talk to your sponsor um, or leave them in the comments below. Hope this helped. Um, I will be back tomorrow with some more information and I will get all those links up for you guys by tomorrow or Monday at the latest. So have a good night everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.